So hey there guys, I'm Sarpolonis, your family friendly video channel. You know that already now. Let's get this straight. The Kingdom of Loading. Yay! Uh, by the way, this is this is a filler video, so uh, it can be boring as hell, but whatever. If you want your video, it's going to be filler now, just now. Now, ah, this is a web browser game, so like I said, it's it, it can be boring. Now, there's uh, five, three, four, five, six, six uh, classes, character class. So this is an RPG, but uh, with it, it based on texts and other stuff. You need to imagine imagine all the stuff. You know, it's a bit. Uh, not boring, but it's like a book, but 50% uh, book or 50% game, whatever. Now, the seal clover is uh, pretty much a fighter, just a fighter, like uh, they rely on their muscle to survive. This can, uh, all can be said about it. The turtle tamer is the holiest cl class in this game. But uh, I'm not gonna be turtle tamer. But the turtle tamer uh, uh, have mystical connection with the stirrup in Britain, impersing with creep up. So turtle tamers uh, has a holy power called the connection between turtles and can uh, use their turtles to fight against enemies and there's a pastamancer though it's a, like uh, wizard uh, wizard like character uh, uh, the pastamancers rely on their mysticality uh, and their pastorals obviously they can uh, <coughs> Uh, they can spawn pasta thingies, pasta uh, minions. What they can say that, say about it. It's like a necromancer, but uh, uh, it's Italian stuff. You know what I mean? Am I right? <laughs> Sorcerer is just like pasta monster, but uh, it's the sauce version, I think. And it lo it's like not a necromancer, but you can conjure stuff, but um, it can do <clears throat> source magic. But yeah, it's like uh, this two is fighters, this two is uh, wizards, and this two is thieves. And Disco Bandit is um, a much more interesting class you know what I mean like you can dance and stuff is uh, way on his enemies you can dance out of reach of their foes while also sneakily stabbing yeah, it's like interesting but I'm going to I'm not going to dis uh, select disco bandit either but according thief is like a bard but also a thief like uh, they play half of songs for other adventures like this is a bardish thing but I'm going to be I'm not going to be according to either I'm going to be the holy pasta master because the reveal re ravioli god will praise me one one day one day the ravioli god play, praise me okay the character name is uh, by the way I played the game Already I'm level 8 Pastamancer, but I'm going to start a new game. So, let's say it's going to be that, that name is taken because a uh, long, long time ago, like, uh, uh, I think one year ago, I don't know, uh, I played this game and signed up for a Turtle Tamer. But I'm not going to be turtle team because I was bored. And Pastel Monster is way more like a, a magical character in this. 
Observe Dyke. Uh, my mouse, mouse is crazy, but whatever. Sarplon is the. Uh, wait a minute. Sarplon is the. Sarplon is the customizer. Yeah. Play. Uh, I know the beginning things. Like you go to the big mountains, you go to you go to the mountain loop, and talk to the tutorial. That's like a tutorial character. The bird speaks to you. It speaks to you as you approach. Welcome, adventurer. I'm the tutorial, and I'd like to show you the ropes. Here they are. He points to a pile of ropes piled atop a nearby room. Uh, and this is a, a meme-ish game, whatever you want to call it. It has humor in it, so it's good, I think. Now that's out of the way, let's get down to brass tacks. I've got lots of things to teach you. Where should, it be? Where should we begin? Uh, Uh, let's learn about inventory first. It's dangerous to go alone into the big scary world out there. And nothing keeps an adventure company as well as some sweet gear. Let's see what I've got lying around that might fit you. The royal digs around in a pile of shit behind this rock and produces a couple of items. Yes, I'm past the spoon. And old sweet pants. Now, <coughs> so I'm a pasta monster and I get a noob item as a pasta spoon. Now, uh, if you if you select turtle tamer and begin the tutorial, uh, you will get a turtle totem. Or if you're going to uh, start as a uh, uh, sorcerer, sorcerer uh, you should get a no, uh, as a noob item. You should get a um, a saucepan. Yes. But the old sweet pants is uh, all the same in the classes. Whenever you've seen an item, you can click on the picture to get a description of it. Why not try that now? Go to inventory by clicking. Uh, I know that. Just click that thing over there and equipment. Pass the spoon. Equipped it. Old speed pants. Equipped it. And the big mountains and the mountain. Good job equipping that stuff. While you were out, I found this and thought you might like to have it. Click on it to see its description and notice the fancy blue text that means the item is enchanted. And equipping it will be, it will improve your stats or abilities in some way. Now I, now I get a ravi ravioli hat. Pre 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 <laughs> now you can click on the uh, icon to. Uh, see, see its de description. Right, this is a hat fashioned, fashioned from oversized ravioli or maybe raviolus. We were never sure about that one. And if you wear this, it gives you um, a bonus, a, sp a boost. It's a spell damage boost. And I can equip it. Ravioli hat equipped it and I have a ravioli hat as an hat. Yay! Now the big mountains, mountain noob, the tutorial. Now let's learn about adventuring. Uh, over on the left side, underneath the little uh, this hourglass icon, you can see the number of adventures you have left. Adventures are used for adventuring. Every night you will get an additional 14 adventures. There is a cave at the base of this mountain. Here, let me mark it on your map. Okay, no cave or mountain noob in the big mountains. Okay, now uh, you'll notice the one next. Uh, okay, we know it. Now, if there is a one icon uh, 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 next to the uh, location name um, then it's an adventuring location and it uh, eats your adventure by one and 
you should um, <clears throat> spend your adventure uh, wisely because uh, it's uh, it's like precious and I need to keep them uh, but yes okay. okay you're fighting a crate you're a little nervous about encountering a crate, crate this early in the game you get to jump on it attack with your pasta spoon Neva take damage record yay <laughs> Okay, then we acquired three popsicle sticks. Alright, then. Uh, we need to smash two more crates, by the way. Then, lemon and orange, okay. And three mysteriousness. Okay. By the way, a mysteriousness is um, a, a thing for mysticality. And there is like muscle bonds for muscle. or. Like um, Hutspa for Max Maxi. Uh, Maxi is like um, charisma. And mysticality is like uh, uh, like it's it. Uh, you need mysticality for uh, uh, you need mysticality as a pastor master or as a sorcerer. But you need muscle. Uh, if you if you're a seal clubber or turtle tamer or you need moxie for according thief or disco bandits like it's like that and if you if you're gonna um, if you want to um, increase these things uh, you want to yeah you need to uh, um, gather their little points like mysticality's little point is mysteriousness and muscles little point is muscle bond uh, you know uh, you understand it much but i mean uh, all right let's talk to the tutorial teach me about my skills skills are important and there are two different kinds of them some can be used during fights and other can others can be used not during fights like it's basic there's um combat skills and there's passive skills like many cut the med meditation is a passive skill. If you meditate, you gain pasta onanus, and pasta onanus um, increases your mysticality by two for five adventures, of course. Uh, and spigot spear is a combat skill. Let's talk to the tutorial again. Well done. As I'm sure you'd notice that spell gave you an effect that makes you more powerful. You can see how long that effect will last in the character pane over on the left. Now it's time for you to learn about combat skills. I marked the diavern on your map. It's a dangerous place. So you'll need every ounce of gill, which is worth a pound of chimney. You can master if you're going to survive. What the hell? Alright. The diavern. I didn't get that joke because I'm not a fan of Street Fighter. I don't know. I don't think we are fighting full of money. Oh. Why? Because I'm going to kill him with your skill. Oh, I need spell damage record. Yay! And I gain two wizardness. And it's a little point for mysticality. And one sarcasm. And it's a little point of moxie. Anyways, you get that. Uh, let's oh bunny liver oh why did I do that I'm a bad person such a bad person okay now well, let's talk to the tutorial again and teach me about my campsite just front of, front of the big mountains there's a campsite for adventurers you get assigned as a spot as soon as you arrive in the kingdom and that's where you'll be staying it's very spartan at the moment here take this tent and I acquire a new newbie sport tent. And if I open my backpack and go to the miscellaneous section and use my tent, uh, if you will, like um, you can regen your uh, hit points or um, 
regain your mana point points. You can rest in a tent, in your tent, and it consumes your one adventure and um, you gain some HP and MP. Now, uh, okay. Ah, I need to rest a bit, okay. Rest, okay. You lie down on the floor and rest, okay. Now, let's talk to the tutorial again. And let's see what can he teach about food. Your growing adventure and it's important that you eat to keep your keep up your strength. In fact, eating is one of the best ways for you to get more adventures. If you're going to eat, you're going to need to learn how to cook. Take this oven and use it from your inventory to install it at your campsite. E S cook oven. I don't know. And you will install the oven in your stylish artwork kitchen. The tutorial flies down and lands on a rock next to you. And he gives uh, some ingredients to for cooking. Now, there's a crafting section opened in my tab. And you can cook stuff in there. And make cocktails. And uh, I'm going to uh, explain that later. Uh, you can submit stuff. And it's going to be more later and um, to explain it uh, and you can combine items and you can cook stuff okay you can discover new recipes also now if you take a popsicle stick and combine it with an orange get orange popsicle say that looks delicious you should go to your inventory and eat it and i discovered a new recipe um now consumables and eat the orange popsicle and if you eat the orange popsicle you gain two adventures if you eat something you gain adventures and also boosts maybe now teach me about cocktail crafting adventures do not live by bread alone booze is also a crucial part of your daily diet it's like my dear old man used to say. It's a rough world, rough world out there, dude. Now we are dear and fetch me under drink. You'll need this. <laughs> now, let's get the cocktail crafting. Now, I need to install my uh, pop shaker. And it gives ourselves some items to make cocktails. Now, Let's take a bottle of vodka and <laughs> and olive. <laughs> what is this um, new gameplay? What is this gameplay mechanic? Uh, this an, an RPG game? What the hell? But it's a humorous RPG, so you know we can make vodka martini in there. Okay. Say that looks like a mighty refreshing cocktail. You should go to your inventory. I drink it. Yes, I want to get late. Also, I can uh, hang my certificate of participation. Okay, then let's drink it. Yay! I gain five and adventures, ten good spa, and some maxi point. Uh, I gain a maxi point. So I gain a maxi point. Uh, with gaining ten chutzpah, so chutzpah is an uh, is a little point of maxi, so I gain a maxi point, and three dragons. If you um, go go on the limit, um, let's say uh, your tipsiness or drunkenness or whatever goes on to fifteen or something and. Um, if it's gonna be like that, um, you can't uh, adventure that day because you're fucking drunk. Everyone knows that. Okay, just like in the real world, booze is a great way to get adv adventures. Just be careful not to overdo it, or you might knock yourself out of commission for the rest of the day. Like that. Um. 
you learned everything I have to teach you, okay. And more things will pop up. A seaside town, right side of tracks, wrong side of tracks. <laughs> and like that, and the Council of Law. Uh, by the way, I'm going to uh, finish the video here. Thanks, thanks for watching, dudes. Bye.